Lesson three of A Course in Miracles is an invitation for us to release the past in a deep way, to let go of all of the associations and contexts and meanings and names and labels and ideas that we have brought with us into the present moment and use to organize the present moment so that we know who we are and we know who others are and we know the room that we're in and we know, you know, that it's our coffee mug and we know how to make coffee and we know the importance of coffee in the morning and, you know, we know that it's raining out and that means we need an umbrella and so forth. Yesterday, the Course suggested that all the meaning that any object has for us and thus all the meaning the world has for us is the meaning that we've placed there, that we've given all of that meaning. And today, the Course takes the additional step of making clear that we don't understand anything that we see. The meaning that we give is irrelevant, unhelpful, silly, not necessary, because we don't understand. This is, can be, I think, a profoundly disconcerting lesson in the Course, particularly if one does it with sincerity and intention. It's really an invitation to gaze at the world with fresh eyes, which is scary. It's scary to look at a coffee mug and think, I don't know what that's for, I don't understand that. To genuinely do that, you know, to truly try to kind of come to an understanding that in fact this world that I see, which which seems to make so much sense, which seems to support me, which supports my family and, and all that. Uh, I don't understand it. I don't know what it's for. I don't know how it functions. And therefore, I don't know what I am and I don't know how I function. These simple early lessons fundamentally are about opening our mind as we loosen or allow to be loosened the past's hold on us and on our perception, it becomes possible for a new vision to replace that, which is very much what A Course in Miracles is about. It's about seeing reality. It's about seeing truth. It's about knowing what we are in truth so that our vision functions properly as befits creations of God. But in order to do that, we must first pass through this very difficult phase of coming to terms with the fact that we don't understand the world, we don't understand ourselves, we're deeply confused. This is a real blow to ego, which thinks that it does understand the organization of the world, which thinks that it is competent to navigate that world, label that world, make decisions about that world, judge that world. Beneath two brief paragraphs and not an awful lot of analysis is a lesson that undermines the entire fabric of the reality that you and I think we live in. It's a good thing, but it's a scary thing. It's a hard thing. Ego doesn't go quietly. Yet, if we're going to know the peace of God, if we're going to see the face of God and live, if together you and I are going to come face to face with the light of Christ, we're going to have to recognize that all that we've done to this point has not worked, has not been helpful, and therefore we have got to avail ourselves of a new way, and that new way can't be of us. It can pass through us. It can be a gift to us, but it's not something that you and I are going to invent because we don't understand. We don't understand. And so we become beginners. We are humbled. We are ready to be saved because we need to be saved. Thank you for being with me.